Hi, Benjamin from Loves Data here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Ads to promote your YouTube videos and grow your audience. If you're just starting with your YouTube channel or you've been posting videos for a while, it can be tough to get the views and subscribers you're after. That's why I'll walk you through the exact steps to promote your videos and how to control your advertising budget. Ready to dive in? Let's get started. Before you jump into promoting your videos with Google Ads, it's important to make sure your YouTube channel is ready. You'll need to have videos uploaded. Some recommend starting with at least three, but the more content you have, the stronger and more polished your channel will look. Of course, creating engaging videos is just part of the equation. Custom thumbnails, attention-grabbing titles, and detailed descriptions all make a big difference in setting up your videos for success. I assume you've got those basics covered, but if not, let me know in the comments if you'd like a dedicated video on optimizing your channel. All right, let's head to Google Ads. I've already logged into my account, so let's click New Campaign. Now I want you to select the option to create a campaign without guidance, and then choose Video as the campaign type. Video campaigns let you promote YouTube videos in different ways. We're going to create a video views campaign, which is already selected by default. However, there are other types of video campaigns you can create in Google Ads. If you want to focus on showing your ads to more people, so unique users, you can select Efficient Reach. If you want to show ads multiple times to the same people, you can select Target Frequency. You can also create non-skippable ads for videos that are 15 seconds or less. You can drive conversions with ads that include a call to action with your videos. You can show videos in a particular order with ad sequence, and you can run audio ads on YouTube. I want you to leave video views selected and then click continue. Now we need to name our campaign. I'll name mine YouTube Promotion. You can name your campaign anything you like. We can see the different types of video ads we can run in our campaign. By default, the campaign will promote our videos as skippable in-stream ads, in-feed ads, and short ads. However, as we're starting out, I want you to go ahead and disable skippable in-stream ads, and disable Shorts Ads. This means our videos will only be promoted as in-feed ads. Videos promoted as in-feed ads means they can appear in YouTube search results and as related videos as people are watching other content on YouTube. People will have to click to watch your video, so they're more likely to be interested in your content. The bidding strategy is set to Target Cost Per View and we can't change this. Next, we need to decide how much we want to spend. You can choose from campaign total, which will be the total amount you want to spend on your campaign. Or we can choose daily. This is the average amount you want to spend each day. Since you can't change between these two options after you've created your campaign, I'm going to select daily since I don't know exactly how long I want my ads to be shown and then I'm going to enter $10 as my daily budget. Then to make sure I don't spend too much, I'm going to enter an end date so my campaign will automatically stop. This means my ads will run for 30 days, and with my daily budget of $10, I can expect to spend around $300. Now I want you to select Networks and I want you to go ahead and deselect Video Partners on the Google Display Network. This means our campaign will only run on YouTube. You can now choose the location targeting for your campaign. I would recommend choosing a location or locations that align with your ideal audience members. If you're aiming to grow your YouTube channel quickly, you could select all countries and territories, However, I recommend selecting your location targeting based on your target audience for your channel and business. For this campaign, I'm going to select United States for the location targeting. 
Next, you can choose to add some of your videos as related videos for the campaign. This means that these extra videos can be shown below your video ad. Since this gives people more opportunities to watch your videos, I encourage you to take the time to do this. So let's select the option to add related videos. We can now add two to five related videos from your channel. When you're happy, click Done. I'm going to skip the additional settings. And I'm going to name my ad group in Feed Ads. You can choose how to target your ads to people, but I want you to skip all of these targeting options for now. And let's choose a video we want to promote. I recommend starting with your best video. Pick a video that you're really happy with and that already has some views, likes and comments. I'm going to choose a video I've recently published that covers Google Tag Manager. For our video ad, we're now prompted to enter a final URL. You can choose to enter a landing page on your website, or you can enter your channel's URL on YouTube. I'm going to enter my channel's URL. And I'm going to add a display path for my channel too. I'm going to leave call to action deselected. And now we need to enter a long headline that will appear with our video ad. And we need to enter a description. Both of these can be a maximum of 90 characters each. My tip here is to keep your headline and descriptions as close as possible to the title and description you're already using for the video. Yes, we're creating an ad, but we want it to look as close to a standard YouTube video as possible. The less ad-like, the better. You can then name your ad. This is only seen inside your Google Ads account, so it's just for reporting. I'm going to enter GTM Tutorial. Next we need to enter a bid. I'm going to enter 50 cents as the default bid. You can then adjust this once your ads are up and running. And now let's click Create Campaign. And let's click Continue to Overview. We're now looking at our new video campaign and it's selected in the menu at the top. Since we didn't add any targeting when we created the campaign, our video ad can be shown anywhere on YouTube. I found this leads to lower costs, but if you'd like to ensure your ad shows with more relevant videos, you can fine tune your targeting. For example, you could display your ads only with other videos that closely relate to your content. The one thing to consider is that this might increase the amount you need to spend since more granular targeting means you are likely to compete with other advertisers. If you only want your ads to appear with specific videos, you can navigate to Audiences, Keywords and Content. Then select Content. Now you can click Add Content. and select the ad group we created. Now we can choose Placements, and select YouTube Videos under Browse. You can then enter the URLs of the videos you want to target, and click Save when you're happy. Since I want to use broad targeting for this ad group, I'll click Cancel and not add any placements. I also recommend adding your other videos to your ad group. To do this, select Campaigns, and then Ads. You can then click the plus sign to create additional video ads. You can then follow the steps to choose another one of your videos and write a headline and description. I recommend sticking with one theme for your ad group, so if you do have videos covering a range of topics, just go with one topic for the ad group. Okay, you might be wondering how much you'll need to pay to promote your videos. The amount you spend will vary depending on your videos, targeting and your campaign settings. Let's take a look at another campaign I recently created. This campaign has very broad targeting. The only targeting I've applied to the campaign is geographic targeting, so people located in Australia and the United States. We can see the target cost per view is set to 50 cents, 
and the average cost per view, so the average amount I've been charged, is just under 2 cents. Let's click the ad group. We can see there are two videos being promoted. Both cover Google Analytics, but they do cover different topics and are different lengths. We can see the longer tutorial has received more impressions and views. And the average cost per view is almost half of the average cost per view for the other video. So depending on your objectives and how much you want to spend per view, it's always a good idea to test different videos to see what works best for you. Once your ads are up and running, you can begin to adjust your bid. For example, you can experiment with a lower bid to see how this impacts the number of views on your videos. Apart from running video campaigns in Google Ads, like we've covered in this video, you can also promote your videos directly inside YouTube Studio. I've covered this type of promotion in another video, and you can find a link to watch this in the description. I'd love to hear how you're growing your YouTube channel. Let me know in the comments below. And to stay in the loop and be notified when I release my next video, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.